Okay, everybody. Um, welcome to On the Glide Slope. Today we're going to fly another Pilot Edge rating. We're going to fly the CAT 4 rating, which is a departure from one towered airport to an arrival at another towered airport. Two class deltas in this case, San Luis Obispo KSBP, and then about a 22 nautical mile flight to the south to uh, Santa Maria Hancock KSMX. Um, we're going to fly along at 2,500 feet and uh, pretty straightforward. The brief on this flight is that uh, if you're going from a delta to a delta and you aren't going to have air traffic control in between those two places, um, it's a pretty straightforward air traffic control process. Um, the way I think about the air traffic control coverage areas, which was confusing to me when I started using Pilot Edge, and that Pilot Edge has helped me really understand, is you basically talk to people in an inside-out, outside-in format. Meaning, you start on the ramp, and you talk to the controller that controls where you are, and you're on the ground, which means you would talk to ground. Um, when you're ready to take off, you're going to be talking to the controller that uh, can see you and be managing you in the air, which makes sense that that would be the tower. So you're handed off to tower uh, until you are released from the tower, in this case, uh, when we either leave the Delta air airspace or when they've decided we're no longer you know, any conflict to any airspace, airplanes in the area. And then in between, we'll be sort of on our own. If we were flying with air traffic control services, we'd be talking to either a, a departure, a center, or an arrival service, most likely a departure. And, um, and we fly along until we come into the next airspace that we need to talk to air traffic control in, in which case, this case, it's uh, Santa Maria Hancock. And then again, now we're going to start going from the outside in. Who do I talk to from where I am and then as I get closer to the ground? Well, again, I would talk to Tower. Tower controls the airspace around the airport. And then when I land, uh, if they want me to be taxied in a particular way, I would be handed off to ground. So I always just sort of think, you know, on my way to the middle of the flight, it's sort of from the inside out, where I start on the ground and then I start working out along the airspace into uh, controllers who are looking over me based on where I am. And it makes sense that goes ground to tower to departure to then center control and then when I'm on arrival I'm sort of going from the inside from the outside back in I'm going from center to control to approach to then tower to then ground so it takes a little getting used to but it's pretty straightforward when at least for me when I think about it that way <clears throat> and so here what that really means is we're just going to be talking to ground and to tower at both places in some airports, you need to talk to clearance delivery, where you need to actually call them and ask for a clearance, in which case, even if you're VFR, they'll give you a heading and an altitude to fly for a while to keep you safe. Um, that's not the case at San Luis Obispo. There's no clearance on the chart from a frequency perspective that we would need to talk to necessarily. And so um, we will be talking um, to the ground and then to, the, and then to uh, their tower. And then on the way in to... Uh, Santa Maria will be talking to their tower and to their ground. We should call the airport we're flying to about 10 miles out. In this case, that's about halfway through the flight. And then uh, let them know that we're inbound for landing, and they'll give us any specific directions they want us to take in terms of which airport or which uh, runway and what type of approach to make, whether they want us to enter straight in or fly the downwind left or right leg, whatever the case might be. They'll probably tell us to report when we are three miles out so they know we're getting ready. And then they'll clear us to land, and of course we need to repeat back instructions every time. And then we'll land and taxi off uh, onto the ramp, and then we'll let them know where we are, and then they'll either ask us uh, and where we want to go, and they'll either um, tell us to uh, contact ground or to just taxi over there. Um, the way you read the outer space here, deltas have uh, blue dotted lines. Most of them are circular, but not always. And uh, there's a number in brackets that shows it's controlled up to that altitude. So for San Luis, uh, it's a 10-mile radius uh, circle for the airspace and uh, they control from the ground up to 2,700 feet. And if you fly above it at, at 2,800 feet, you don't need to talk to the controller. And for Santa Maria, it is about roughly a 10-mile uh, circle um, with a little bit of a jog down at the, at the southeast end, uh, and it's controlled up to 2,800 feet. So the rules for deltas is you have to be in communication to uh, fly into that space. You don't have to have permission, but you have to be talking to air traffic control, even if you were to say, I'm flying through at 2,500 feet, and I don't want to pose any conflict. They want to be talking to you so they can tell you if they need you to do anything special. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to call ground, get transferred to tower, take off. About halfway through the flight, we're going to contact tower for Santa Maria, tell them we're inbound, fly the approach how they tell us to, land, talk to ground, and then be done. So I'll fire up the airplane, and we'll be on our way. All right, we're up and running. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get the ATIS. 
which is the weather, and on the chart it's listed as 120.6. So we're in good shape. Um, we can go ahead and get COM2 radio set to the ATIS for Santa Maria, which is 121.15, just because it'll save us some time later. We can switch over and listen to it, 121.15. We might even be close enough to hear it. And our guard frequency would be 121.50 which we want to monitor for emergencies and so we can switch over fast if we have an emergency. If we switch to COM2 here. Yeah, we can't quite hear, hear their ATIS, but we will eventually. Okay, so we've got Papa. Now we need to turn to ground for Santa Maria. And ground for Santa Maria, or for San Luis, is... Uh, One two one point six zero. And yep, there they are. And our tower is one two four point zero. On two five left, clear to land for southwest forty sixty. So we'll get ready for that. Nice three zero six so cal approach fly present heading. Descend and maintain 7,000, vector vision approach, runway 3, 1. So ground is 121.6, tower is 124.0. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1. 2, so we're ready to go there. Um, we'll switch over to the tower frequency for Santa Maria when we're in the air. So then what we would do is we call ground, we tell them where we are, that we are uh, over at... Um, right, with 334, contact tower, 120.95. The east ramp and transient parking and that we want a uh, departure, VFR departure to the south. In essence, is what we'll tell them. <clears throat> and my push to talk switch is hopefully VFR fixed. Zero Mike, Juliet, uh, Roger, contact we'll find out here in a second. Zero squawk, VFR. I don't want to be that guy. San Luis Ground, Cardinal 15, Juliet Gulf is at the east ramp. We would like VFR departure to the south for the Cat 4, please. We have uh, Papa. Carbon 5, Julia Gulf, San Luis Ground, runway 29 attack, via Alpha. 29 or via Alpha for 1 5, Julia Gulf, thanks. Okay, so 29 or via Alpha. Copy that. Okay, so. Carbon Delta Zero, context, call approach 135. Let's go. Four. Okay, so we're here at the end of the runway. Now we're going to switch over to tower, which is 124.0. Uh, right with 34, that'd be straight down. And your next right will be uniform. And then as soon as we have a chance, uh, at your next right, uh, we're going to tell them what we're planning to do. Fly right at uniform, and then continue straight ahead, and then turn into Charlie 15. Then you'll make a right on Just Charlie. writing down my frequency is here for Santa uh, Maria. It is 121.15, ground, 121.9, and tower is 118.3. Of course, we'll do those in reverse order. That's OK. San Luis Tower, uh, Cardinal 15 Julia Golf is uh, at 29, ready for departure to the south. Alaska 306, did you copy descent and maintain 4,000? Right. Right, 15 Julia Golf, San Luis Tower, runway 29, cliff and take off, all courses approved, and uh, wind 32010. Cleared for departure on 2-9, on course approved, thanks for the wind. And uh, just be advised, uh, the other day this push to talk switch was uh, sticking and was driving Marcus nuts, but I can't tell if it is, so please jump in if you hear me transmitting. Yeah, if it does that, we'll just kick you and you just log back in. 
perfect. I appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, here we go. R1 Delta Sierra, contact the tower. We'll see. So, on course approved means I'm cleared to Ontario tower, make my Delta Sierra, uh, turn to the south and go how I like. That was 221 Delta Sierra, Ontario Tower. And uh, we're going to fly a standard left traffic pattern. So we'll take off and then turn out to the left. Uh, if I can steer the airplane with my feet. Okay, here we go. Hey Douglas, uh, 1 Delta Sierra, if you want the H, you can have them. Just let me know. There's Beads Alive. Uh, if you would like a base for uh, runway 8 right, let me know. Uh, we're okay with 26 left. Thanks, Bill. Right. Rotate. Alaska 306, do you have the airfield yet? Okay. We're going. Trim for our best climb. Alaska 306, Roger, clear for his approach, runway 31 left. Pattern altitude here is. Uh, 1,200 feet. Santa Maria pattern altitude is 1,200 feet. Now sometimes they'll tell you a heading that they want you to fly or an altitude to stay with. Not today. 1,000 feet, we're ready to make our turn. And we don't make pattern calls because it's not a CTAP frequency. With Oscar, I'd like to stay in the pattern, ready to taxi. In fact, I can just make direct with the foreflight here. Ontario Tower, down to 221 Delta Sierra. And it tells me my heading should be 144. There's one Delta Sierra, go ahead. Okay, just uh, run back me. Uh, did you give me clearance to land 26 okay. left or 26 left? On course approved, so now we can uh, make one our turn to 144. Right for the left side, we're only 26 left. And pretty soon here he's going to tell us that we're okay. Not a problem. 221 zero. Clear to talk. Stop talking to him. Last 306 contact. Palm Springs Tower 119.3. Or okay, we know our next frequency is going to be the ATIS. We have that switched down here. We can go ahead and get that. So we're getting to be about 10 miles out, so we're going to call them now. That okay. tower Delta frequency Delta. for Santa Maria is uh, 118.3. 25 clear for the Audrey to Delta. Tell them where we are. <clears throat> Santa Maria Tower, uh, Cardinal 15 Julie Golf is 10 miles northwest of the field, 2,700 inbound for landing. We have whiskey. Cardinal 15 Julie Golf, Santa Maria Tower, in a right downwind runway 3 Sarah Apartment Field. Right down wind for 3 0, report midfield for 1 5 Julie Golf. Thanks. Okay, so now as I'm descending here, I need to visualize that. So, right down wind from 3 0. Let's get my heading bug sent to 3 0, first of all, so I can visualize the direction of flight. for the airport or for the uh, runway. 
So again, that sequence, get the ATIS, call the tower about 10 miles out, tell them where you are and your altitude and what you intend to do, and then follow their directions. So right downwind for 3-0, we're coming in on about the right heading for that, which is good. And they want us to report midfield, which we will. And again, pattern altitude is 1200, so we're just kind of making a nice descent down to that. And I'm looking for the airport. Coming up to the field here. I should be able to see it. Oh, I think I see it. I've got this haze. I think I see the field. I think it's right there. I can't quite see with the lights, but I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, good. So again, we just need to enter downwind, so we will. IFR clearance to Burbank. We're actually entering on the 45, which is a good way to do it. down to our pattern altitude. Here's to Romeo Alpha, John Wayne Clarence, clear to Burbank Airport. On the departure flight heading 220, better vector Soul Beach, Victor 23, 2 Popper, Santa Monica 125 radio, Santa Monica VOR, Santa Monica okay. 311 radio, to Silex. I sort of like this distance from the airport here. Expect 4,000, we'll start minutes after departure. Departure frequency 128.1, squawk 2603. <coughs> and uh, that's the SoCal number for one tech group if you're interested. Okay, so we're going in on zero. Okay. That, um, on the well, remember our wind was 296 at nine, so it's pretty much straight into Cecil us. Beach. So that's good. Because 23, two popper. Santa Monica. We're a little low. Then direct Santa Monica VOR. Grab a then little altitude here real quick. Santa Monica 134. Silex. This guy's direct. call is long enough. It's going to mess up with our plans. 12.1 to and 260 through this clock. There we go. Remember, two Romeo Alpha. Our plans to let her know when we're midfield. There's two Romeo Alpha after Santa Monica. This is Santa Monica 311, 311 radio. Uh, rest of the back is correct. Roger, 301. Two right. Thank you. San Maria Tower, Cardinal 15 Julia Golf is midfield right downwind for 30. Cardinal 5 Julia Golf, runway 30, clear to land with 300 at Cleared to land uh, for 30. Thanks for the wind, 15 Julia Golf. Okay. We're at the numbers. Carb heat on, fuel pump on, gear. Undercarriage, gas is to both undercarriage, prop mixture. Start flying the airplane downhill. That acronym GUMP, gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, is a good thing to remember that you have both tanks. Okay, here we go, we're a base. Would help to put in a notch of flaps. There's our field. Okay, we'll keep it coming. I skipped lunch today, so I'm a little shaky. We're a little high, which is fine. We can go full flaps. Trim the airplane. We're about 70 knots. 500. There we go. Okay, again, 
gas to both. Undercarriage, we got three green. Mixture is rich, prop is full. And the airplane is trimmed. Speed is good, 70. Get on the center line here. There we go. Seventy two over the fence, that's about. Santa Maria Tower, Cardinal 15 Julie Golf is clear of 30 at Alpha 6. We'd like to go to terminal parking, please. Two Romeo Alpha Drama Ground, you call for taxi. Let's call and say again. Santa Maria Tower, Cardinal 15 Julia Golf is clear of 30 at Alpha 6. We'd like taxiing to uh, the terminal parking, please. Your two Romeo Alpha taxi to park via Alpha. This frequency have a great day, and that is a pass for the Cat 4. Uh, copy that, and that was 15 Julia Golf, not Romeo Alpha, is that correct? No, one five Julie got my bad. Yes, that is that is correct. Just said the wrong call sign. Hey everybody, it's me. Thanks again for watching. Um, one thing that I lost when that video wasn't recorded is I spent a few seconds talking about how much I love Pilot Edge and how valuable the service is, but in particular how great the controllers are. Both the controllers that I worked with on this flight are just one example of many. Um, they're very patient. They're very understanding. Um, they can get stressed like anybody else, but they're always in a teaching mindset, and they always want you to be a better pilot, real or virtual. So if you haven't tried service, um, these cat ratings are just an example of what you can learn um, in, in the process. If you're a real world pilot, it gets you over mic fright in a quick, and as a simmer, I think it really does an awful lot to bring reality to your simming, which uh, I've loved. So again, I can't recommend it highly enough. And uh, if you want to have uh, other, if you have other questions that you'd like to have answered about the basement sim or how it runs, or anything else that I've used in uh, in getting the thing together, please uh, go to the website and the blog www.onthegliedslope.net, or ask them in the comments, and I'll reply as fast as I can. Thanks again for watching.